Hello, my kingdom. Welcome to testing one, two, three, where I test the decks so you don't have to. I'm your host, the King of Canada, and we're playing everyone's favorite game, Marvel Snap. How are you this fine day? We are fantastic. Things are good. We are part of the stream team. There's a stream team member streaming every day. So be sure to check out the description below and you will see when they are available. Today is Sunday for us, but Monday if you're watching here on YouTube. We are live every Sunday from 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where we test the decks so you don't have to. Monday at 8 a.m. we have the YouTube video released here on YouTube. Also, coming up, we have our affiliate anniversary subathon, September 10th at 9 a.m. We have been one year affiliate and we are celebrating with a subathon on September 10th. So be sure to join us on twitch.tv slash King of Canada JJ. Also, King's Clash 4 is coming up September 21st at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, if you like tournaments, exclamation point clash in the chat, and you will get all the information you need to sign up for King's Clash 4. But that's not what we're here for. We're here to see decks. Let's see the first one. All right, let's, we got to move some things around here. Uh, we got to move this up here. Move this up here. There we go. All right. The first deck comes from Dexter. You might know him. You might love him. Dexter's Howard Man-Thing is Howard the Duck, Ravona Renslayer, U.S. Agent, Mystique, Magic, Luke Cage, Mobius and Mobius, Speed, Iron Lad, Man-Thing, Iron Man, and Spectrum. How's it going to vary in this meta? We're going to find out. But before we do that, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and hit that little notification bell here on YouTube, and you will get all the notifications you need to let you know what's going on here on the channel. All right, we have <clears throat> Oh The white Arabian Thank you very much for the follow here on twitch That's what that little notification was. Somebody gave us a follow. Hello, hello. All right, so we're testing the decks so you don't have to. Here is Dexter's Howard Man-Thing deck. Let's get into it. We've got five games to play, and we will see which deck comes out on top. We get a gambit from Camp Lehigh. It's unfortunate that we can't play anything. Can you submit a deck to test? No, TK. You cannot. I've already picked the four decks that I'm playing today. They are given to us by Snap Judgments Podcast. Uh... 
Uh, we'll put down speed. So he gets either our Iron Man or our Iron Lad. As long as he doesn't drop Cosmo, we're good. Gamora. All right. Oh, we hit Man Thing. All right, so everything costs more. We can potentially do this. And then on our last turn, we can loot cage. And something. Ah, uh, they got our Iron Man. Okay. So they're going to move their Jeff out. Because they have that ability. We can, we can loot Cage and Gambit. That can always be fun. Because we're going to hit definitely something over here, I hope. But even if we take out their Iron Man, that's even better. So, all right. We're going to ship it. So, Luke Cage. Gambit. Hits. White Queen. And there we go. We win it. That's 1-0. One out of five. Not a bad start. All right, Man Thing, Mobius, Magic, and Weird World. We get their Mockingbird and we get their Gilgamesh. So they have no finishing maneuvers in this deck. We should snap. It all depends on if they got our Luke Cage. That is the big question. Necrotia. We're getting all of our high cards here. We're getting nothing low. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can, we're not even going to draw a card the next turn. Because our hand is full. Okay, they got our Howard. All right, we got our Luke Cage, so we're good. All right, so.
So we got man thing on this side. We're gonna man thing over here. We're going to Luke Cage and Mobius. We have two cards left in our deck. You're happy you have Iron Lad? Awesome puzzles. Iron Lad's a great card. Alright, they put down Kieri, Ant Man, and Dazzler. Alright, we got Speed. So they either have our US Agent or our Ravona. I don't think we can win this. I think we lose this one. There's our US agent. Yeah, we didn't have enough in the middle. We did not have enough power in the middle. So that's one and one. Those are two good choices, copycat or widow, both excellent cards, puzzles. And remember, those watching on YouTube, if you want to join us live, we are live every Sunday starting at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at twitch.tv slash kingofcanadajj. You can join in the conversation just like Puzzle Brain here. We are talking through chat here on Twitch. Alright, we got Elysium and we get Magic. So we can Magic this last location. We don't have to worry about it. Save our loot cage. Oh, they're a high evolutionary deck.
Our goal is to hit Iron Man. Or Mobius. Put down speed. Luke Cage. U.S. agent. Put down U.S. Agent last, so... That will suck some more life out of those. This will buff everybody up. So they're going to rogue. Of course they have rogue. Why wouldn't they have rogue? They're going to win by putting their Hulk here in Elysium. because their Hulk will be big enough to hit Elysium. They still didn't have enough. All right, that's Two games left to go. We got a 2 1 rate, uh, win rate. There are Mr. Negative deck. More than likely. So we're going to drop Mobius to mess that up. Black Widow. I see. We're hoping to hit magic here. Because that will take care of the Bifrost. And there we go. We hit magic. Oh, so they're a bounce deck. They're not a negative deck.
take care of this. They throw over a goblin. How rude. <coughs> so because they're a bounce deck, we're going to man thing. And we're going to mystique. That's going to take care of all their little cards. We did not get our Luke Cage, which is kind of devastating. I think they win. I don't think I have enough power on the left. Yeah, we missed it by two. Missed it by two. So we're 2-2. Two -two. One game left. We both magic. So we're definitely both looking for a seventh turn. We're looking for our Luke Cage here. So he takes away the limbo with a Okay, this is not going to boost us enough on that side. But this
Huh. I thought we had more numbers than that. That's because Sunspot went up. Because he didn't use all of his vision power. We probably would have been better off to Spectrum. Yeah, Spectrum would have won us the middle and it would have won us the right because we would have used all of our powers, so speed would have went up two, and then it would have went up another two with Spectrum. So we would have won the right, and we would have won the mid. Spectrum was the call, not Luke Cage. And we lost. All right, so that's two wins, three losses. That's a shame. So that was Dexter's Howard Man-Thing. Howard the Duck, which we didn't see all that often, to be quite honest. Ravona, agent, U.S. agent. Mystique, Magic, Luke Cage, Mobius M. Mobius, Speed, Iron Lad, Man-Thing, Iron Man, and Spectrum. We had a two win, four loss, or three loss run. So my star rating for this one is a 2.5. It's fun to play, but it's very situational. You need to get that Luke Cage for your deck to work. All right, I'll be right back after these messages with a new deck. See you in just a minute. All right, welcome back to Testing 1, 2, 3, where I test the decks so you don't have to. Next, we have KM Best's List. Kitty Pride, Maria Hill, Nico, Thena, Angela, Hawkeye, Cassandra Nova, Speed, Loki, Wiccan, Ultron, Alioth. Or Alioth, depending on who you ask. <laughs> this is an interesting deck. It's got Speed, it's got Wiccan, Cassandra Nova for those dirty, rascally uh, Erisham decks. So, I think it'll be fun. Let's take a look at it. Well, before we get to that, make sure you click like, subscribe, comment, and hit that little notification bell. You'll get all the notifications for the channel, and it'll let you know when there's gameplay, interviews, and everything that comes here to YouTube. And if you want to join us live on Twitch, we are live every Monday to Saturday or Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's twitch.tv slash kingofcanadajj. All right, KM Best. Let's see what you've got. Let's see what you've cooked up.
So, Maria Hill. Who gives a Shadow King? We're going to put down Thena. We're going to put down Speed. Good afternoon, Ligature. Captain Marvel versus Ravona Renslayer. We're going to Wiccan on Carmartage and get a crap ton of energy. They snapped. Their name is KM Average at best. And it's funny that we're playing a KM best list. So we have nine energy to drop. So I think we definitely Cassandra Nova. Do we think we're going to need a Lyoth here? Let's a Lyoth in the middle. Yeah. So, no Iron Man for you. We get 10 energy. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Awesome ligature. I will read your response afterwards. They retreated. All right, so that's one win for this deck. So we're one out of five so far. Oh, well, we got something in our alliance. What did we get? Play two cost cards. There we go. Kaboom. What else do we got? Uh, nothing of significant value. So we will let... We will leave it to the team. All right. We have some missions to collect. We got this one, this one, and this one. We've got this one. Okay. That gives us two Young Avengers. Groot Boosters. 50 credits. <clears throat> and now back to KM Best List. Okay, I just responded to your message there, Lig. But it sounds good. 
You usually get one to two variants from the season caches. Yeah, that's about right. They snap for some reason. They like something. Ah, oh, they're a destroy deck. That's why. So, we got to save all of our ones until they play their Killmonger. We're going to copy speed. So, we're going to put down Angela first, then Nico, and then we'll copy speed. That seems to be a decent card to have two of. We could Loki and get all their destroy stuff, but we're going to copy speed. And then drop our Kitty Pride and hope that he doesn't... Uh, actually, we'll keep our Kitty. We'll put down Basic Arrow. There. That's what we'll drop. Nova and Venom. He's definitely saving that Killmonger. So we got our speed... Or we get two of. Basic arrow. Ah, we get our Wiccan. Alright, so we're going to play Kitty Pride in here. We'll play our Wiccan. That takes care of all of our energy, which will give our speed another boost. Deadpool, there's the Killmonger. Okay. So we got our Kitty Pride and our Wiccan. So we're actually winning two lanes, so we take priority. Oh, we can Eliath them. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Now, the question is, does he throw uh, down... He's going to have Null, he's going to have Death, and probably an Armin Zola. Now, does he Arnim Zola the middle, and then drop a Death? Or does he just Null and Death? That's the question. I think our safest bet is to ally at the middle to take care of whatever's going to come here, whether it be Null, whether it be Death, whether it be Arnim, because either way, we, we Null in the middle and we tie. And then we Kitty Pride. And we Pim Arrow. That should do it for us. If he if he puts it on the both left and right, we're screwed. But we'll see. We won. There we go.
All right, so that's two out of five so far. Two wins, zero losses. All right, so we're going to Athena and Kitty. Speed and Kitty. Now we're going to Wiccan and Kitty. All right, now we're going to Ultron. Uh, oh, let's do it this way. Angela, Ultron, there we go. That'll win it for us. They retreated. All right. There's three wins. Two games left. So far, this has been our best deck so far. Oh, and we don't get a one drop. So our Wiccan is dead to us. I had to speak too soon, eh? Out of three one drops, we don't get a single one of them? That's bull. Now we get Maria Hill. So our Wiccan is a dead card. 
<coughs> we can. As long as we maintain priority, we can Eliath their surfer and call it a day. So we want Cassandra Nova. No, we want something big here. Wiccan. And Kitty Pride. So there's Sarah. We still maintain priority. So we say wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Goliath kills those. And there we go. Was that our last game? Or do we have one more? One more. All right. So that was our fourth win. We're going for a perfect score. 4-0. Thank you, Ligature. Keeping good tabs on me. All right, we're going to use, oh, that's not the one I thought it was. <coughs> the Mod Supreme. <laughs> they just recognized us from the parents of Snap Group. So there's like there's Thena. They use Pixie. There is ligature. Angela and Speed. We're not going to be able to use all of our energy this time around. So that means Wiccan is dead. But we can... Nico... Turn Maria Hill into... Uh, a Maria Hill turn into a demon... Kitty Pride here. And I don't want to get rid of our deck. I don't like the look of their deck, so I don't want a Loki. I want to get our Hawkeye. I want to get our Eliath. We get another Thena. So they put down vision. We 
get our Eliath. We're going to Thena and Kitty Pride. We're going to snap. If they have it, they're going to Jane now. Yeah, there's Jane Foster. So, now the question is... Do they hammer an Odin here? They have to Odin here. But will they hammer with it? That's the question. So we're going to Eliath the right and see what happens. So Lockjaw. Hammer, Iron Lad gets Nightcrawler, and Wasp. There we go. Casserole them. And we take it all the way with KM Best List. So, KM Best List, Kitty Pride, Maria Hill, Nico, Thena, Angela, Hawkeye, Cassandra Nova, Speed, Loki, Wiccan, Ultron, and Eliath did very well for us. Went 5-0. and oh. So, I'm giving it a 4.5 rating. Why not a 5, you say? Just because Ultron didn't really come into play for us. We didn't need him. So I think Ultron is a flex card in this deck. And other than that, it's pretty much rounded out perfectly. It came together quite nice. The only time Ultron was used was against us when Copycat took it and our opponent got it. So yeah, 4.5 for this five star deck. All right, I'll be right back after this and we will play our next deck. Welcome back to Testing 1, 2, 3, where I test the decks so you don't have to. This is Buddy's deck. And this has been the most interesting one for the day, I believe. Nightcrawler, Jeff, Hawkeye, Marvel Boy, Storm, Speed, Nocturne, Shang-Chi, Gwenpool, Professor X, Mockingbird, and Thanos. Yes. Thanos... Professor X, and Storm. The goal is to lock out two lanes and move your cards around. Because with Thanos and the Blue Stone, you're able to put him anywhere. So, let's get into this one. This one is my most interesting pick for the day. Before you get into that, like, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell. You will get all the notifications here on the channel. And remember, if you want to watch us live, we are live every day, 10 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. on twitch.tv slash kingofcanadajj. And if you want to watch the stream team, check the description down below. 
you will see their times and their links. Also, if you want to watch this live on Twitch, we are live every Sunday from 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to 3.30 p.m. All right, let's get into the deck. All right, like I said, this is Buddy or Booty. This is his list, and it looks interesting. It's the one that had me most excited for today's stream team event. Testing one, two, three, where I test the decks so you don't have to. Now my biggest qualm with Thanos is I never draw stones. And as you can see, we start off a hand, no stones. So, let's see how it goes. There, we get the soul stone. We're going to take out the Bifrost. <clears throat> Howard the Duck blasted and Miles Morales and we got Storm All right, we're going to play down Time Stone and Marvel Boy. We need this and this. All right, we didn't get our soul stone, or our, uh, what's the blue stone called? Space stone, that's it. We didn't get our space stone. So... And they took away the power of the Soul Stone, which is Thanos cannot be discarded or destroyed. So now if we put Thanos into Danger Room, there's a possibility of him getting destroyed. So our only major course of action is Reality Stone and then Thanos on the left. But we could lose the mid by one point. So I think we Thanos the middle and we Power Stone the left. Yeah, sure, why not? Shang-Chi. Yeah, 
as I expected. Thanos doesn't bring us up enough. And we lose. Not enough power. Good old Shang-Chi that everyone has. I absolutely agree, Ligature. Alright, we've got our Space Stone. So that's one of the main ones we want. <coughs> well, Reality Stone the middle, and we will Soul Stone the right. We get Elysium, so we're going to Storm, Hawkeye, Powers, and Time. They changed my storm location. Son of a buggers. Well, the good part about the soul stone is Thanos cannot be destroyed. So we can Thanos here. And we can kind of save these for now. Nightcrawler out. Well, Jeff. <clears throat> and we'll Mind Stone. That'll give us a 40 powered Thanos. And we win it. All right, that's 1-1. One, one.
All right, we can drop down Nightcrawler. All right, we can do Hawkeye. Every time we've Hawkeye, we've got the same three, two arrows. It's starting to become a piss off. We can Marvel Boy. Now we're going to grapple. We're going to space. We're going to stone. And we can basic arrow. Okay, so my opponent has won the mid. <clears throat> we're going to skip this turn, and then we're going to play Mockingbird, Thanos... We have Soul Stone and Space Stone, so... They filled it with debris. The fucking bastards. Well, we have to retreat. Thank you, Ligature. Plenty of stones this time.
I did notice that ligature. <laughs> you still have PSD from that voice line from Weird World? <laughs> That's all right. It won't harm you anymore. Well, uh, he gave us a whole bunch of crap. So we're going to guess Rocket here, Power Stone here, Reality Stone here. That's what we're going to do. How did they get a 16-powered Mockingbird? Gwenpool? Gwenpool hit Mockingbird all three times? Wow. Talk about luck. Fuck. Well, that's one in three now. Here's our final game of the day, but I don't think there's anything to save its rating. And we're playing a destroy deck. Of course we are. 
I don't know. <coughs> okay, we beat out Venom. So the right lane is ours. And I think we speed. And Marble Boy. And they retreated. All right, so that's two to three. So, Booty's list is Nightcrawler, Jeff, Hawkeye, Marble Boy, Storm, Speed, Nocturne, Shang-Chi, Gwenpool, Professor X, Mockingbird, and Thanos. And unfortunately, it didn't work for us. I wanted it to. I thought it was going to be lots of fun to play. And it is fun to play, don't get me wrong. It's just not a top-tier deck. So if you just want to have fun, take it, play it, have fun with it. But my rating is a 2.5 or a 2. No, we're going to say a 2. We got two wins, so we'll give it two stars. It is not that great of a deck. Winning-wise. Fun-wise, lots of fun. Winning-wise, not so much. All right. We'll be back right after these with our fourth and final deck of the day.
Welcome back to Testing 123, where I test the decks so you don't have to. I'm your host, the King of Canada, and we are part of the stream team here for Snap Judgments. This is TSLG's deck. It is negative... Pardon me. It is negative, negative, negative. So we have Psylocke, Ravona Renslayer, Cassandra Nova, Ironheart, Mystique, Sage, Magic, Mr. Negative, Wong, Iron Man, Taskmaster, and Jane Foster. It's a pretty basic, normal, negative deck nowadays. So we will see how it plays out. My biggest thing is I either don't get Psylocke or I don't get Ravona to get negative out on three. So we'll see how my RNG pans out. But before that, be sure to click like, subscribe, leave a comment, and hit that little notification bell to get all the notifications for the channel here on YouTube. All right, so negative, negative, negative. Let's see how it plays. I like a good negative deck. Ligature and I got our first Infinity with Mr. Negative. I think it was our first. That was long ago, though. Okay, we've got negative, we've got Ravona, so that's a snap. <clears throat> now we just need Jane. Oh, the son of a bitch. We still have Psylocke, so that's good. It was a good list, Lig. You're right. We can get out negative. And deep space, holy mackerel. Why would they put Cosmo into deep space? I think we lose.
Ja. Oh, that's one loss. That was a big one. If we put down Jane Foster, all we're going to get is Ironheart, and it's going to be a dead card. So we're hoping for Wong, so we can Cassandra Nova and Sage and then Taskmaster. So that's going to be our plan. We're going to Iron Man on the left. All right, so now... We can Wong, Cassandra, Sage. Oh no! I guess we're not Cassandraing. No, we have shit. We don't have enough for Wong. Taskmaster and Sage. So we're going to Sage over here. It's only going to be a five.
Okay, so we're going to take Wong out. So... And I got to do it that way. Nah, we needed the Wong. We needed the Wong. That wasn't enough power. The Wong would have taken us over the hill. Wasn't enough power. This one sucks. Hey, Hedgehog. We didn't even get negative this time. This is a loss. We won it. Well, we're one win, two losses so far, and we actually, the only game we have won was with, without negative. So, go figure that. Alright, we got Psylocke and Mr. Negative. That's a snapping condition. We will wait till the last location has been revealed before we snap. Because there's always the chance, yeah, there's deep space. There's always a chance that something can go awry.
No, White Arabian. They're all part of my Discord server. Oh, well, there's another win. So that's two and two. Thank you, Hedgehog. It's always nice to hear. I'm glad to help. All right, Olympia gave us Mr. Negative, but also brought out most of the stuff we want to turn in to negatize. And negatize that. What are we going to officially turn negative? We're going to turn Taskmaster, Iron Man, Magic, and Ravona negative. No, Cassandra's a pig. Awesome. I'm glad to hear it, Hedgehog. That was a very fun deck. Okay, so we're going to Iron Man here because they're not going to expect it. We're going to Mystique here. Oh, wait. We're going to Mystique, Wong, and then we're going to Iron Man here. And 
then we're gonna iron heart and then our last turn we're gonna sage and taskmaster and we'll be done oh motherfucker Oh, I don't know if we win this last game. We're going to find out. There we go. Okay. And that's it. It's a 3 to 2 win ratio. Alrighty, chat. So that's a three to two win rate on that deck. So not the greatest, not the best. We will put it at a 3.2 star rating. And that's going to do it for, for me here today. Remember, join me live every Sunday, 12 p.m. to approximately 6 or 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And the YouTube video goes out Monday morning at 8 a.m. right here on YouTube. We have an affiliate anniversary. Our one-year anniversary subathon comes up September 10th at 9 a.m. Be sure to join us for the subathon September 10th. And King's Clash 4 is September 21st at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, for those of you joining me here on Twitch... I will be right back. And for those of you joining me here on YouTube, I will see you again next week. Until then, keep on snapping and be excellent to each other. Bye for now. The King's Court has concluded. Keep on snapping and be excellent to each other. Thank you.